Celebrity chef and host of Patty's Mexican Table, Patty Hinich has chartered a unique road to a television success, but her heart has always been in food. I love Patty. Yeah. She's wonderful. Well, I'm a, I'm a big fan myself, and I recently got the chance to chat with Patty inside her Chevy Chase home in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month. You go from Mexico to Texas, politics, and somehow wind up in culinary arts. It has been a winding road, but looking back, it was the power of nostalgia. When we moved to Washington, I did a master's in Latin American studies, worked in a think tank. I was miserable, loved cooking, and decided <laughs> that really, like the one way to connect, to make myself feel at home in the U.S. was through food. So when is it that you get an opportunity to take Patty's Mexican table to public television. A lot of people started telling me, Patty, you're so good telling stories. There's no Mexicans doing Mexican food in the US. And so, pitched the show and many times to many networks and my accent was always a problem. It took me like two years. When I look back, Erika, like, I don't know how I didn't drop the towel. So many doors that were locked. Like not only locked, like smashed, you know? And my husband would tell me, don't take it personal. Just get yourself back up, dust yourself, and go knock another door. You will find the people, the companies, the foundations that believe in that content. We're standing in the yeah. set of Patty's Mexican <laughs> Table. Was the kitchen already like this, or did you design it so, with the show in mind? You know, when we moved to this house, I was starting to pitch the show and starting to fundraise for it. But I built this kitchen like this with this island because I thought I was going to teach classes. How many years has the show been in production? Season 13. And we've won three James Beard Awards for it. And we've gotten a few Emmy nominations. We've gotten IACP Awards and Gracie's Awards. And I think it is all a testament to how Mexican food culture and people, it's not me, I'm just like part of the wave. It's like how much Mexicanness is now part of the culinary lingo in the US and how much Mexicans we've worked so hard to have a seat at the table. You've done all of this while being a mom. Mm -hmm. So what has that been like for you, juggling all of the things? I really sacrificed anything that was in my family and my work. Mm -hmm. So like the two completely mesh. Rapid fire Q and A. Yeah. Are you ready for me? Yeah. Okay. Tortillas, flour or corn? Oh, don't do that to me. Corn. Okay. Salsa, red or green? Green, all the way. Menudo or pozole? Oof, pozole. Red. <laughs> <laughs> uh, favorite kitchen gadget? Oh my gosh, my lime squeezer. Okay. <laughs> it was my mom's. Favorite local restaurant? Okay. Two Amy's, two Amy's, two Amy's. One food you don't eat? Cow brains. Okay. Beef or chicken? Ooh, oh, 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 beef. Favorite meal? Eggs, any possible way. Ahogados, divorciados, scrambled omelette. I'm obsessed with eggs. Okay, and last but not least, favorite junk food? Cocoa Pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it, I love it, buddy. See, and at the end of the day, they're just like us. I mean, <laughs> I love how she said it's not me. Uh, by the way, it's all her. She's so delightful. Her personality, is. even her voice, can everything I... about her just connects you to her cooking yeah. and her culture. And can I tell you that just the way that Patti is on camera, she is the exact same person off camera. She is delightful, and by the end of the conversation, you're like, are we friends now? Uh, Can totally. we be friends? I've never, um, <laughs> listen, I didn't do the interview and yeah. I feel like we're friends. <laughs> she is very busy these days. She's working on her fourth cookbook. Uh, um, and of course, she's in the middle of season two of the wildly, wildly popular docuseries La Frontera, which just picked up another James Beard Award. So our thanks to Patti for allowing us inside her home. Um, a wonderful time we had. She is so, so yeah. great. All, All right. Fun.